Thank you for joining us for Memorial Healthcare's Community Conversations. In this weekly video, experts from Memorial Healthcare will answer your questions about how we're caring for our communities during the COVID-19 pandemic, and also update you on new services and offerings at Memorial Healthcare. Today we feature Dr. Albana, orthopedic surgeon at Memorial Healthcare Orthopedics, Sports Medicine, and Rehabilitation, talking about keeping your child safe as sports start up again this fall. The first thing that I want to say is that there's no 100% way to guarantee all athlete safety during participation in sports where there's extremely close physical contact. That being said, there are measures that can be taken to help make it safer, and some of those include things like wearing a mask when the players are on the sidelines, um, trying to have them seated six feet apart when possible. Uh, they want to avoid things like spitting or um, things like they may be used to in normal school years, like celebrating, giving high fives, fist bumps, things like that. Maintaining good hand hygiene is an excellent way of minimizing the spread of COVID-19. Although players on the field may not have access to soap and water to wash their hands, using a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol is an excellent alternative. Players should be encouraged to do this in between plays or whenever they touch their face or their face masks or body parts of other players. Another important measure that players can take is by avoiding the use of shared equipment. This includes things like water bottles or towels. Players should be encouraged to bring their own water bottles whenever possible. All of these recommendations may be changed at any time given the very fluid nature of this situation. There are several things that players can do to avoid injury once they return to sport. As always, players want to make sure that they're adequately hydrated before, during, and after play. Although it may not be as hot as it was a few weeks ago, players can get heat exhaustion very easily just during the physical exertion that occurs during regular gameplay. So maintaining adequate hydration is one of the most important things to do. Another thing that players can do is stretch before and after their participation in sport. Muscles and tendons that haven't been stretched are more prone to injury, and patients can minimize those injuries by stretching beforehand. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, players may not have been active in their sport for the last several months, and this can lead to a process called deconditioning, where the muscles of the body aren't quite ready for the intense physical activity that they're going to be experiencing during the return to sport. Players can minimize risk of injury by gradually increasing their level of play and not starting out at a high level of exertion. Concussion is a very serious injury that you want to have evaluated by a medical professional whenever you have a suspicion. Some of the signs and symptoms of concussion include things like headache, uh, drowsiness, fatigue, uh, loss of concentration. If your child experiences any of those symptoms, you want to get them evaluated by a professional, whether it's their athletic trainer, their primary care physician, or another medical facility where they can be evaluated properly. One of the things that we've noticed during the COVID-19 pandemic is that patients may not be as willing to go to their doctor's office for fear of contracting the virus. In some cases, this is you know, a very valuable tool for avoiding exposure. However, in other cases, especially when an injury is involved, this may only delay the diagnosis and treatment of that injury. For patients who are concerned about exposing themselves to the outside environment, we offer a very, very excellent option in the form of telemedicine where they can be evaluated by a medical professional and have their symptoms evaluated to determine if their injury warrants being evaluated in the office or some other form of treatment. As in years past, Memorial Healthcare Orthopedic Sports Medicine Rehabilitation will be offering a walk-in clinic for high school athletes who sustain an injury on, the, on or off the field. Details will be posted below, um, but feel free to have your child evaluated by one of our orthopedic specialists if they have an injury. Thank you for joining us today. If you have a question for Memorial Healthcare's team of experts, please visit our website at www.memorialhealthcare.org to submit a question. We will do our best to answer these questions on our weekly video or in one of our frequently asked questions updates. We ask that you follow our website and social media platforms to get the most up-to-date information. Memorial Healthcare, we're here, we're ready, we're keeping you safe.